Turn your ear, O Lord, and answer me. Save the servant who trusts in you, my God. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. The Lord invites us to come to him with a clean heart. Let us get rid of our old heart as we acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. And we pray in this Mass for Louine and Marie's intentions. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord was addressed to me as follows. I mean to display the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned among them. And the nations will learn that I am the Lord. It is the Lord who speaks. When I display my holiness for your sake before their eyes, then I am going to take you from among the nations and gather you together from all the foreign countries and bring you home to your own land. I shall pour clean water over you and you will be cleansed. I shall cleanse you of all your defilement and all your idols. I shall give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I shall remove the heart of stone from your bodies and give you a heart of flesh instead. I shall put my spirit in you and make you keep my laws and sincerely respect my observances. You will live in the land which I gave your ancestors. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I shall pour clean water over you, and all your sins will be washed away. I shall, I shall pour, pour clean, clean water, water over you, you and, and all your sins will be washed away. away. Up your heart, create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. I, I shall pour clean water over you, and all your sins will be washed away. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor, sustain me that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. I shall pour clean water over you, and all your sins will be washed away. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offerings from me 
you will, you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart, you will not spurn. I shall pour clean water over you, and all your sins will be washed away. Shall we now stand for the gospel acclamation? Hallelujah. the way of your precepts and I will muse on your wonders. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to speak to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parables. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a feast for his son's wedding. He sent his servant to go all those who had been invited, but they would not come. Next, he sent some more servants. Tell those who have been invited, he said, that I have my banquet all prepared. My oxen and fattened cattle have been slaughtered. Everything is ready. Come to the wedding. But they were not interested. One went off to his farm, another to his business, and the rest seized the servants, maltreated them, and killed them. The king was furious. He despised his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their town. Then he said to his servant, The wedding is ready, but as those who were invited proved to be unworthy, go to the crossroads in the town and invite everyone you can find to the wedding. So these servants went out onto the roads and collected together everyone they could find, bad and good alike. And the wedding hall was filled with guests. But the king came in to look at the guests. He noticed one man who was not wearing a wedding garment and said to him, how did you get in here, my friend, without a wedding garment? And the man was silent. Then the king said to the attendant, bind him hand and foot and throw him out into the dark where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. Beloved in Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. I do not know if some of you have ever had invitations where they also mentioned come dress in white and black or all white or gray or any color. I just had one invitation to go to US for a 50th anniversary and it stated there all white. So that is what you have to dress in all white. So I'm wondering how I dress in all white. Maybe I'll ask sister to go for me. But uh, the facts of, 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 of this is in the gospel of today, we hear about an invitation Jesus speaking to his disciples, but to the chief priests and the elders, that everything is prepared. People have been invited to come for the wedding of his son. But in that invitation, some of those who were invited did not consider it at all. Some gave excuses. Some did not only just give excuses, they even beat the servant who came to remind them of the fact that the wedding is ready. Come and just eat. But when all of these happened and then there were no many people, he said he sent out to go into the crossroad and get everyone they find, good and bad alike, to come to the wedding. But interestingly, if people were not prepared and they were just called to come and eat, how is it that the king 
will just come and tell one, how did you get in here without a wedding garment? Probably his, his response would be, I was just called. I was just walking on the road and I was called in here. So why that question? My brothers and sisters in Christ, to have a better understanding of this parable, it is not so much about invitation for which you know, things have been prepared in advance. It's about invitation to what the king desires. For the Jews, and at that time, whoever entered the hall of the wedding, there will be servants in front of the door who would give out a dress to wear in order to enter into the wedding banquet or the wedding hall. So that is why the king says, how did you get in here? Because if you pass through the door, obviously you would have been given a wedding garment. So why that? This Jesus leads us to think about the invitation he throws to all of us. First of all, God invites you, God invites me. He has prepared a banquet of graces, a banquet of blessing, a banquet of goodness, a banquet of everything good you can think of. And he says, everything is ready. It's bought and paid for. There's not much to do. Come and enjoy these blessings of God. And in the first reading, he tells us, he tells you, he tells me, I'll give you a clean heart. I'll cleanse you of all your defilement. I'll be your God. I'll be there to protect you. All that you have to do is, I'll give you a heart so that you may respond and respect my decrees and observances. So, beloved in Christ, what does this mean to us as people of faith? The invitation God throws to us, we need to respond with faith that I believe in you. I want to listen to your word. But it does not end just with faith. It must transform our heart. It must lead us to conversion. It must lead us to change, to put on the proper attitude, proper garment, in order to merit this goodness of God. And so we have in our world people who are disinterested in God's invitation. In the world, people don't care. Some don't care about God. What is it about God? I'm not interested. But again, there are people who are faith, but they remain indifferent. They, in their heart, we, we believe in God, but we are not ready to do anything to help. And there are people who have faith, but indeed, they are disrespectful to the decrees of God. Where do you belong? But in this, again, we have people who have faith, and they put on the proper attitude and garment. This is the call Jesus makes to you, the call Jesus makes to me. As we respond to him in faith, let us allow ourselves for his word, for his grace, to transform us so that we may experience and merit that bountiful blessings in our life. Let us not live a life of, I don't care. This is who I am. I will not change in any way. That might have been the attitude of this person. Leave me, let me just wear my, my own dress to enter the, the wedding banquet. I don't care about what you're giving me. But if Jesus invites us, we have to care. He wants us to enjoy joy, blessings, and graces. And this Mass, he invites us all to such a blessing, to such grace. Are you ready to receive them? Let us open our heart and ask God's grace to transform us, that we may change, that we may merit his abundant blessings. Amen. Let us now stand and pray for the grace of God to respond to his invitations. In thanksgiving to God for the gift of today, for the gift of our lives, and for the manifold blessings we have received, Lord, in your mercy, we pray continually asking God 
to grant us the strength and the grace to be truly converted and be transformed into what his purpose holds for us. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for all those who are indifferent or disinterested in the affairs of God in our world, that they may be touched by the grace of God to respond to that bountiful blessings God gives to his children. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for all who have been kidnapped and for their kidnappers, that God will give them the strength and the grace, the hope of relief. And we pray for the total transformation of the kidnappers, that they may also free these God's children to have the freedom to live as sons and daughters of God. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for those who are suffering at this time, those who are hopeless, those whose lives are coming to an end, that they may be filled with the treasures of heaven, the hope of life in eternity, and the grace of living in faith, hope, and charity. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for all who have asked for our prayers. We pray for Lewin and Marie, and we pray for all parishioners of St. Michael's Church and all who join us online. Lord, in your mercy, and in the silence of our heart, let us pray for our private needs and intentions. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thy amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, and the hour of our death. Ever merciful and gracious God, grant us the grace and the strength to respond to your invitation to us to feed on your blessings. Grant us the grace that we may do away with the things that block our joys and grant us the grace to embrace your richness. We ask all of these through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Yes. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to Almighty God the Father. Amen. O Lord, who gain for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you Amen. and lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 our God of first. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending thy your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Alan our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, especially Helena and Saint John Udis, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our Lord of right and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, says the Lord, and I'll raise him up on the last day.
Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, Amen. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thank you all very much for your presence and participation. We have church cleaning after Mass. And as a thank you, I want to thank our young ones for coming in your numbers this morning. Keep it up. Keep it up. And may God bless you and give you a better future. God bless you and enjoy your holidays. <laughs>